Hi, I'm Richard Byrne. In this video, I'm going to give you an overview of a neat mind mapping tool called GitMind. Let's go ahead and take a look at it. You'll find it at gitmind.com. And in this window, I'm already signed into my account. Now, we can use any of the templates that GitMind provides, and there are more than 100 templates available. You can see they're organized by category. We can go down here to education. And we can see essay writing process, verb types, book reviews, uh, all kinds of different student roadmap, all essay structures, all kinds of different uh, templates that we can use. But we can also just click on new mind map and start building our own mind map or our own flowchart from scratch. And let's take a look at how this works. I'm going to do one about branches of U.S. government. And we can change the overall theme by just clicking on the theme here. And we can see we can use a dark theme, light theme, add this little theme that has some background image in it. But let me go back to that light theme. And then I'll close that. And I can change the style. And I can change the entire page. If I wanted to use this kind of cloudy background, I can use that one. Can change the colors. I'm going to go back to that plain white background. I can change the nodes. So I can change the node style. We can change the line color. We can change the border color. You know, maybe I'll make this border kind of red and kind of thick. There we go. We can change the transparency of each one of these nodes. We can change the relationship line style from being dotted lines to solid lines to dash lines. And we can change the thickness of those and change the color. And let's close that out. Now let's actually make our first chart here. And I'm going to call this one Branches of Government. You'll see as soon as I hit enter there, the node expanded to allow the text to fit in there. I can click and drag and move that around. Now, up here in the top, we'll find our menu for sub nodes and nodes to add in. I'm going to click on one. And we'll see it's try to put in a branch topic. Now, if I don't like it in that position, I can just click and drag and move it can also just hit the delete key to remove it entirely from my mind map. Over here on the left hand side, we have our map layout, our mind map layout. And I want to use this tree structure. Now I'm going to go up here, hit insert node, and I have a straight line coming right down. And my node here is going to be executive. I'm going to add another node, Judicial, and I'll add one more node, Legislative. Now I'm going to add a sub-node to Legislative. And so I'm going to have the House of Representatives. And I'll add another. But I don't want it below House of Representatives. I want it next to House of Representatives. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to remove that one, click on Legislative again, insert subnode, and now they're next to each other. And I'll have the Senate. Now, one of the neat things about GitMind is that you can quickly move between your mind map layout or flowchart layout and an outline just click on the outline tab up here or outline button up here at the top and we'll now see we have this nice outline of exactly what is on the chart i can make that full screen if i want to and i can exit out of the full screen and i can even 
print this as a Word document. I can export it as a Word document if I want to. Now close that. And let's take a look at how I can share this with other people. So on the right hand side, we'll see this share button. And I'll click on that and I can just copy that link and share it with people. You can see here, I have this option for a password. I can set a password for people and I can even set an expiration date for, for this mind map. And after, let's say August 3rd, this password and this link will no longer work or I can turn those off. You can see here, I also have the option for viewers to save and copy or viewers can just view it. Now, if I want someone to collaborate on this with me, I can actually click on the cooperation button and I can invite my collaborator over here. Let's invite my friend Mason and I'll just send him a little email to work on this with me. You can see there, we also have the option in our cooperation to just use a link and a code as well. So that's a short overview of gitmind.com. I think it's a nice little tool for creating mind maps and flowcharts. As always, more tips and tricks like this, please check out freetechforteachers.com or subscribe to my YouTube channel.